Hi, my name's Edmund and I'm 22 years old. Hi, my name's Lee, I'm 17. And we're apprentices at Key 15 restaurant in Shamrock Key. Uh, we're a family-run business. We're not, you know, blood family, but uh, we all see ourselves as a family-run business anyway. Not like a typical fine dining restaurant, but uh, yeah, we're still very professional, so it's a pretty fun environment. Um, I left school and went to Edgin College for a year. Then obviously saw Key 15 opening up, um, joined Key 15 then, and have been here ever since. So yeah, exactly the same as Lee. I left school, I was at St. George uh, Catholic Boys School, and I also went to Edgin College. Um, I did support a college which is completely different to hospitality um, and uh, you know I think I kind of wanted to take the route everyone was going to take to go to university. Parents do try and obviously encourage you to go to uni but um, it's just it, it depends what you want to go into I guess. Um, if you want to go into a more hands-on job then uh, apprenticeship is perfect especially with us apprenticeships is the answer. I enjoy it a lot more than college. If you're ever going to take up an apprenticeship it helps if you're working in that industry and uh, we're quite fortunate to be working in that industry, so we have quite some talented chefs at the back of us, so there's always room to ask them something, so they always help us out. So. It's, it's a really good pressure. I always feel um, in a working environment, if you're not working, um, then you know, you're wasting away. Um, so we, we're all as busy, so we're always doing something, we're always on our feet, and the time goes quicker as well. Um, there's times where we've looked at the clock, expecting 10, 15 minutes to go, and it's two hours, so it's definitely a lot better to be on your toes and like I said it's a good pressure um, we think that we work a lot quicker and sometimes even better uh, when we're on our toes and there's lots and lots of customers but then also the praise is a lot better as well so they can see that we're rushing they can see that we're busy but at least we handle it really really well I would like to see myself owning my own place one day. Uh, with hospitality, there's different routes you can take, and I'm, t I'm kind of focused on the drink side of things. So I'm the mixologist at Key 15. So mixology, kind of like a cocktail barman, except we tend to create the drink and customize it to the specific customer's tastes, flavors, and, and whatever sort of colors they enjoy. And you also get a pair with food. So um, yeah, I, I would like to see myself owning my own cocktail bar one day. We work a lot with outside um, clients so a lot of um, alcohol and uh, we got we just got this new liqueur that's coming from Spain so it's, it's quite remarkable and I get a free ball every now and then so it's, <laughs> it's always good. In terms of hospitality and apprenticeships in Southampton this is a fantastic time. Um, there's a massive growth industry having uh, lots of restaurants, bars, uh, the cruise is coming into this particular uh, city is fantastic. Um, and also there is an air of uh, positivity about our industry. Hospitality is fantastic. It engages, it connects people, and we as an industry, we talk to each other all the time, and that's great, not just for the industry, but for people of Southampton. There's always room to progress, uh, especially if you find yourself a great place to work. Uh, we're quite fortunate enough to be working at Key 15, so um, I know once I'm done with this apprenticeship, um, there's room for me to grow and um, my pay bracket rises. But as Ed said, it is just kind of a step ladder. You need to just work your way up and then eventually, obviously, you'll be on full pay and doing it full time, hopefully. So. The difference between our apprentices and normal mem members of staff is that I feel there is much more enthusiasm and hunger and they really want to get that learning uh, and that understanding. Um, it's not being derogatory towards another member of staff um, that's not on apprenticeship, but I feel that um, they want it a lot more and they want to develop. Obviously I was there quite recently in year 10 and 11, um, not having a clue on what to do. Um, if you want to go into a trade, for example hospitality or any other trade in fact, um, then I reckon apprenticeships is the way forward and like I said you do get a little bit of pay while you're doing it. Um, for example I'm saving up to drive, um, so you can kind of save up while you're doing it and then Obviously, being at that age, you want to move out your house as soon as possible, so that helps towards that and everything like that. And, like I said, you're learning the trade you, that you can go into for the rest of your life, potentially.